Hello everybody, Rise Dragon here. Welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. I honestly I can't remember where I need to go. Rest on this okay. Yeah, I do I do I do this. Well who's shit we fucking up? I said a silence. I'm tired. Maybe I should rest a bit. I'm tired. Maybe I should rest a bit. No, bitch, you ain't tired. You've been, you've been there for a week. Huh? Where's Captain Seto? He went back to Suo a little while ago. He said he's going back to work, but we can do whatever we want until we're needed. Sorry, but that's the end of free time. Seto platoon is being called. My my. Boss says it's time to work. Yuito, Hanabi, you ready? Yeah. I'm okay too. I guess I have to be. Yeah, as long as you're OSF, you'll lose people like this. You have to get over it. You're right. Inside, upside down reality. Oh, I couldn't read that. Nagi! When were you discharged? I would have come to get you! Huh? Oh, they suddenly said I could leave this morning. Oh man, so you were called in as soon as you were discharged? That's bad luck. You were in the hospital since the mission in the abandoned subway. Are you all healed? You know it, I was getting rusty, so I was glad for the deployment. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. What's this? So you're back, Nagi. Don't push yourself too hard. I won't. Do it, Nagi. Push yourself. Right, Die, motherfucker. These orders are from Major General Karin. Others are reported along the Kunad Highway. We'll move in three-man teams again. Team one is Nagi, Sugumi, and myself. Team two is Kagero, Yuito, and Hanabi. Lately, a lot of National Defense Forces are deployed along the Kunad Highway. It's an army, but they're still normal people. We can't let them get involved in a fight with others. If you happen to see them, tell them to keep their distance from the area. Let's head out to Kunad Highway. Kunad Highway. Nagi, are you okay? Hmm? If you mean my wounds, I'm fine. Not that. I mean about Naomi. Oh, I mean, I was shocked that Naomi died in battle, but I can't let that affect me forever. What? Died in battle? Naomi is alive. Huh? That's not funny. Huh? Oh, um... I guess it is kind of weird to refer to her as alive when she exists as another. But she's definitely alive. And we might be able to change her back. She's another. Are you feeling okay? Huh? We're deploying, so stop the crazy talk. We have to fight others for New Himuka. We have to accept that Naomi is dead and move on. They, uh... Come on, let's they go. They brainwashed that motherfucker. What's they gave wrong? him a it's sudden not... case of amnesia. I got a brain message. Oh, um, I don't care about your scene shit, dude. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need for this. I'm sure you know, but if an other warning was issued... Oh, 
be he's fine. so it's worried. Day. It's going to be a long day. Use your head and don't overdo it. Today's forecast calls for others. There will be scattered other showers throughout the day. Ow. <laughs> She didn't like the fact that you said it over her. Don't say there's more when there's not more, you bitch. Okay, that's not the way to go. Finish it off. Yeah. <laughs> 
seems fine. Except for nails and orifices. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get on me. Use something big to break its outer shell. Use psychokinesis. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. Tricky. It's been a bit. It's been a week. That was close. down this road that traded with Sewell. Now they're all abandoned, and the only ones who use this road are others in the OSF. I need your help. Burrowed into the ground, but it should show up if you become a victim. Still fight. That was close. Wait a minute. Oh, it's over here. I must 
tope me o no Junction Oh Ay. This is crazy They say there are dead bodies buried underneath the cherry blossom tree Wonder how many bodies and how much time it took for it to get this big. I don't see anything buried. Sagumi, I was trying to scare them. <laughs> if your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful.
fuck was all of that? They all had fucking barriers. Oh, <laughs> 
cards.
Nearby. You look like you're getting used to combat, Yuito. You're in good shape. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, I know my commentary has been uh, non existent this time around. Holy shit. And it's just requiring a lot of focus, so. trying to get to this so I have max psychokinesis but also the weapon crush effects are gonna help a lot because um, I'll be able to break them a lot easier <clears throat> go sit down buddy to the center of the forecast point. Stay frosty, everyone. Captain Seto, this is where the others were anticipated to be, right? We did run into some on the way here. 
No, if this was the anticipated area, it should be swarming with others. Wataru, any others around us? This doesn't seem like the right place. Maybe there was some mistake. The communication lines are also too clear. I'm checking the other report again. Wataru, what's wrong? Captain, we're surrounded. Above us! Is that OSF? Hey, Wataru. Was another unit deployed here? No use. We're being jammed. It's probably because of them. Seto, I still can't believe it. How can you support such horrific research? Gamma? What are you talking about? You really don't know. Are you being serious? If so, come with me now and do not resist. Gamma, are you defying orders? If you don't align with Major General Karin's ideals, then you... Yuito? Captain Seto? What is Seto Platoon doing here? Kyoka, can you back us up? We need to withdraw. Right. It's ridiculous for us to fight our allies. Gamma, come with me. Tell me what's gotten into you. No. I... We'll draw off the OSF around us. I doubt they are willing to take on two Septentrions. Would you say the same? <laughs> if it were me, Luca? my brother to me. Come at me all together. I'll take you on. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? What's going on? We really have to fight Major General Karin? He never wanted to always have in as a brain eater. It's too bad it came to this. Can you dodge Get this? We don't know how he'll attack. Major General Karin, why are you attacking us? Is this all you're doing? What did you say to Gamma? Answer me, Karin! No, we won't solve anything. Even if I answer your fate, to win that fight, but you can. However, I'm not redoing that one. That was bullshit. Someone. Uh, what the hell's going on? I don't understand any of this. Why are 
Gemma and Major General Carr are attacking us. Same with the other OS. The National Defense Forces attacked us. down over there. Nagi? <sighs> Nagi, what's wrong with you? Uh, Naomi. Hey, the snap other... out of it. <sighs> I swear loyalty to New Himuka. Nagi? Yuito? Another? Other. Other. My head. Loggy? <coughs> Are you okay? Yuito, help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. Leave it to me.
And Seto, Kasane, thank you. You saved us. Oh. Are you okay? Uh, yes. What? Do you feel sick? You're really spaced out. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Anyway, let's go to Karin. Go to him? Can we beat him? No. He's not our enemy. But he attacked us. No. I found out about Naomi. It's... Nagi! What are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. Nagi! Now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it! Nagi! Then you will die! Why did you pull a piccolo, man? Resonating with Kasane's? What is this place? Yuito. Are you all right, Kasane? Yes. Where are we? Hey, that's the Sumeragi Crest. And that man over there is... Dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeragi. What's 
dream. Kasane. I'm a whole lot of confused. just happened to us but where's Kasane <laughs> Hanabi are you okay Hanabi yeah huh why is this happening finally found you Sugumi thank goodness are you all right I am fine. Captain Seto. No, it's too late. You're all right. Yama, what do you want? You still want to fight? Not after that earthquake. No one has the will to fight. Earthquake? You don't remember? After we were attacked by Major General Karin, there was a really big earthquake here. I didn't notice at all. It must have been while I was unconscious. Look at that sky. What is that? There's some kind of gravitational anomaly happening there. Our fellow OSF got sucked in with the debris. I projected my sight inside, but couldn't see anything. It's dangerous to get close. Also, the fire is spreading this way. We won't make it unless we leave now. Okay. Gemma, we'll call a truce for now. Let's get out of here to better assess the situation. All right. Wait. What about Captain Seto's body? We can't just leave him here. I'll carry him. Let's move to our hideout for now. Everyone, follow me. if Kasane is okay. And what about that image I saw? What was that? I borrowed the freezer in the back of the warehouse next door and put Seto's body in it. Thank you for carrying him, Gemma. Don't mention it. First Naomi, then the captain. I knew being in the OSF was dangerous. But this? You're right. All this infighting. You were involved in that infighting too, Gemma. What's happening? Tell me if you know. How did things end up like this? It's all Major General Karin's doing. He said that the new Himuka government is trying to create a controlled society centralized around the Suo capital. That's consistent with what I've seen and heard. A controlled society? What's that mean? For example? 90% of all psionics will be drafted into the OSF with no right to refuse. The draft uses the results of the annual health checkup, which we also can't refuse. There are countless surveillance cameras in the city. Not many people know this, but the cameras are also equipped with sound recording. It's how they find and arrest dissidents. In the new Himuka regime, that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is an open secret. But there are some in the OSF that suddenly go through changes in their personality. They were all critical of the regime. So the rumor is that their minds were manipulated. Manipulate the mind? That might be what happened to Nagi. Major General Karn said he would stop this control of the people and he would expel the government dogs from the OSF. Government dogs? Is that why he attacked Captain Seto? Yes. He said Seto was taking part in the government's personality rehabilitation. He showed me the evidence, but I still couldn't believe it. That's why I confronted Seto, so I could talk to him. Captain Seto? No. It looked like he was trying to keep Nagi with us. Captain Seto wouldn't have done that. That's not who he was. Wait, Sugumi. Gemma knows that too. 
The evidence he saw was that convincing. Yeah, but it didn't look like Seto was involved in the government's plan. And then there was that strange hole in the sky, an earthquake after you were attacked by Major General Karn. That wasn't ordinary. Several OSF soldiers were sucked into that hole. Even then, he wouldn't stop his plans for rebellion. That made me question him as well. So that's why you called a truce? Yes, this isn't a simple rebellion. Something's not right. I need to know what it is. The rebellion I was part of took Seto's life. Yuito, you trust Gemma, don't you? But he didn't trust us. Sugumi's right. I should have been more careful. Will you give me the chance to learn the truth? I want to know if he really started this rebellion for the sake of the people. I want to know too. I'm curious about that hole in the sky as well. So let's go to Suo together. There must be some clues. Sugumi, can you accept that? No, I can't. But if he apologizes, I can see it through somehow. Right. I should have been more careful. The truth is, I let my indignation get the best of me. I'm sorry. I owe an apology to Seto, too. Oh, it's too late. Apology accepted. Okay. Let's rest a bit and then go to Suo. Hey, Yuito. Do you remember our promise from last time? Yeah, we said we'd talk again sometime. How about now? There's something OSF related I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, well, let's go to Masubi's. When I was a cadet, I thought that fighting in the OSF as children of the state would mean doing good. I'd defeat the evil others as part of the heroic OSF. But things aren't really that simple. I know. Everyone had their own motives. I never imagined the OSF would be fighting each other. What is the right thing to do? It's something I really need to sit down and think about, but I don't know. You're right. I get uneasy about it, too, sometimes. Although, I think it's better to take action than let worry consume you. You have such a positive attitude. I don't know if that's positive. I just think it's better than being kept in the dark the whole time. You have to gather as much intel as you can before something happens that can't be undone. <sighs> You're so sure of yourself. You're like Kasane in that way. Really? Yeah. Even if you two don't agree, you both are so sure of yourselves. I think that's really strong. I'm the same class here as both of you, but I'm always hesitating and worrying. If you didn't push me, I think I would have given up a long time ago. You always saved me too. I wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you. I'm happy to hear you say that, but you don't need to placate me. I'm not placating. You're always so cheerful. You push me to keep going forward. As kids, you always cheered me up when I was feeling sad. I wouldn't be here without you. I know it's just flattery, but it's still a little embarrassing. It's not flattery. I'm genuinely grateful. I need you. <sighs> Do you need... But not just you, Hanabi. I guess I need everyone by my side. Oh, right. Friends are important. Yeah. There's so much to think about. But you get stuck in a rut when you don't confide in people. 
so feel free to talk to me or anyone else when you need to. I'm sure we'll be able to help you somehow. Yeah, I mean, talking to you has helped. Well, I'm heading back to the hideout. Okay, see you later. Thanks for listening. There still seems to be something on her mind, but at least she cheered up a bit. He's so oblivious. It's obvious she vaults on that man. You sure? OK. 
okay? Save one more time, then we're gonna get to the next part. And then uh, tomorrow I will be streaming this again because I'm I gotta get a few games done before fucking uh 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 September. I'm tired. <clears throat> okay, let's go to Suo. I'm worried about water. I hope he's okay. Hey, Major General Karn started a rebellion, right? There are probably other OSF that aligned with him, like Gemma was. There's even a chance that the Major General will be there, too. If we find ourselves up against him, do you think we got what it takes to win? Major General Karin is powerful. He's a septentrion. The Brain Eater. When his brain field hit me, my body convulsed like I was having a seizure. I learned how to develop a brain field as a cadet, but it was too taxing to use in a real battle. The fact that he used something so dangerous means that he's not fooling around. Still, I have to go. Right, Gemma? Yes. I have to see what's happening with my own eyes. There are others in the city. Wataru, what's going on? No response from Wataru. What's wrong? The city system stopped? Be careful. Arahabaki, the computer that controls all of Suo, has shut down. I don't know the cause, but all of the city's defense systems are offline. That led others into the city, and the chaos is spreading. Wataru, what does that mean? You're able to contact him? I'll see if I can reboot Synet from here. Eliminate as many others from the city as you can. This isn't our normal communication, but my telepathy. The comms are down, so I can only speak to you. I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Do your best to survive. What? Hey, Wataru! Yuito, Wataru is communicating only to you? It looks like Sinet is down, so he's contacting me telepathically. I see. So we'll be without his support for a while. Yeah. He says our Habaki was shut down, and the defense system is down too. And he said there are others in the city he wants us to take care of. He'll be focusing on rebooting the system. He wants us to eliminate the others, but we don't know where or how many there are. Yeah. Sugumi. Give us the rundown about each and every other you find. We'll take them out. Understood. It might be difficult in such a large area, but I'll try. Okay. Let's just clean up the others around us first. Understood. I can't believe Suo's systems went down. It's usually full of visions. Major General Fubuki is in our vicinity. Where? Two o'clock. Coming this way. Who 
are you under? Uh, Captain Seto is dead, so currently... Seto is dead? Wait, are you under Karn's command? Or did he not summon you? Major General Fubuki, I'll explain the situation. I see. So Karin didn't summon any soldiers here other than Gemma. Um, what's going on? It looks like the city defense system is down. I'll explain later. I still don't fully grasp what's happening as well. What I know for sure is that he stirred up some members of the OSF and conspired with the Seiron forces. With them, he attacked Suo. So he did this to the city? Were you aware of this, Gemma? I didn't think he'd let others into the city, but I knew. Since you're with Yuito now, you're not aligning yourself with Seiron. Am I correct in that assumption? That's right. All right, I'll take any OSF allies I can get. You will all be under me now. I've split up troops to evacuate civilians, but there's just not enough of us. We'll help. I don't know what he's thinking, but I can't believe he'd endanger civilians. Thank you. Then I name Yuito as your temporary platoon leader. Me? Yes. Some of the council members failed to evacuate and are heading to shelter on foot. There's no communication from the backup OSF or the National Defense Forces. I want you to go see what's going on. The chairman and council members will feel safe with you. My father! Understood. I don't know what's going on, but it is dangerous. Everyone be careful. Even if you see other OSF, they may not be allies. There's no word of Seiron forces invading, but we don't know everything. We can't contact the central control center that houses Arahabaki, so don't take any risks. I'm counting on you. Understood. I'm going to the central control center. First, we need to reboot the defense system or the battle control system. Let's head for OSF headquarters. The council shelter should be near there. You're okay with that, Gemma? Yes. My desire to protect Suo is the same as yours. I swear my loyalty, at least until this situation settles down. I trust you. What is Major General Karin thinking attacking Suo? Even if he has some reason, this is wrong.
telling me use this. Shell is broken. Give us everything you have. Still fight. It's too dangerous to move on foot in this situation. If he's attacked by another, please be okay until I get there. Are you okay? You're Chairman Sumeragi's. Yes, I'm Yuito Sumeragi. There are others all over the city. Please go to the shelter right away. Please hurry to OSF headquarters. The chairman is being attacked by what looked like OSF soldiers. What? My father? Hurry and help the chairman. Understood. Let's hurry. I'm worried about your dad. Right. Dad is being attacked by OSF? What the hell? I have to hurry. There's gonna be a big ass. 
ass pussy. Not cutscene. I, I, I'd assume it'd be a boss fight, but I could be wrong. With how that shit just was, that, that kind of makes me think boss fight. Uh, hold on, I've got a punch for brain map. Alright, next I'll get that. I'll get this and then I'll grab this. That'll complete this whole section here. Oh wait, no, I meant to save it again, fuck. <clears throat> um, Kasane. Yuito. Are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! Okay, well, we're back to this Stop. bullshit. You promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die! Good. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna sit here at a fucking distance either, because that's not gonna fucking do me any good. Uh, oh, come Are you serious? There's nothing to talk about. By any means. That was close. I dodged it. You won't get away. Okay. This yep. is nothing. Fuck this, dude. I should be able to get close. At this rate. What do you think you're doing? What do I do? There's no reason sh her shit should be able to, to such and circle her and keep even for a second. Anything away but, from her. Right. The brain field. I should be able to do it. I'm not <coughs> as strong as Major General Khan, but if I try, though it might be too much for me. No. Think about that later. I don't have time to hesitate. Sorry, Kasane. This is all I could think of. I can do this.
So fucking tank. Like, that should have honestly, like, knocked the shit Is out of her, but it was doing nothing. No. I can still fight. Wait! What are you doing? Why are you trying to kill me? And my father... Kasane... Did you stab my father? What's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. <coughs> I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I'm the <coughs> in control of the New Himuka government and one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Ceyron, who share our will. Sonny's getting away. Wait! Wait! Yuito. Dad? Tsugumi, we're going after Kasane. Yes. Dad! Yuito. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? There's so much I have to tell you. Be careful. This nation. This nation we. You. Uh, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Sumaragi. No way. You can't. Can't die. Dad, please. Save run protects the free will of the people. 
those who wish to awaken. Come join my cause in Ceyron. Help me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. That looks like the end of Major General Karn's speech video. <clears throat> the government has started blocking it so it's inaccessible. So that means what he was saying is true. I knew everyone was under some control, but information is seriously being limited. <sighs> Why don't you rest a little? I mean, this must be hard for you. I'm sorry to make you worry. Don't apologize. I mean, something like that happening right in front of you, it would be hard for anyone. Kasane killed my father? Why would she do that? Did she really? And if New Himuka was trying to make a controlled society, my father and brother were at the center of it. Could he actually do such a thing? If so, then what's the reasoning behind it? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark about this? <sighs> Damn it! Nothing makes any sense! Both of you are all right. Gemma! Sugumi! I'm sorry. I lost Kasane. It's frustrating. We saw our meet up with Major General Karin, but we were attacked by the OSF with him. They disappeared while we were distracted. Since Sugumi couldn't track them, they must have been moved by a teleporter. I talked to Wataru, too. He's all right, but his sister. Did something happen? She disappeared. I think she joined the Karin supporters <coughs> in Ceyron. It seems nearly half of the OSF have joined him in Ceyron. There are rumors that Ceyron will declare independence. So Kasane went to Ceyron? Yeah, probably. What about you, Gemma? Yeah, I probably would have gone as well. But now, I don't understand what Major General... what Karin is doing. What do you mean? New Himuka really was watching its citizens. True, the New Himuka government is likely controlling its citizens. Even so, I don't believe that putting people in danger was the right thing to do. It seems Karin evacuated the civilians of Suo to shelters before this disturbance started. But even if he did, he was the one who let others into the city in the first place. And then there's Seto. If what he told me about Seto was true, and Seto wouldn't have risked his life to stop Nagi. If he trampled on Seto's dignity to increase his allies, then I can't forgive him, or myself, for being a fool and not believing <clears throat> Seto. Right. Captain Seto. And we don't know where Nagi is. Yuito, you don't look well. Look, Sakumi's worried too. Just take a break. A lot of things just happened. Don't push yourself. <sighs> Thanks, guys.
Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah. Uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine. But now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. You really do care about your friends. <clears throat> it makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's alright. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh, no. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? <coughs> no, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoko she so was hoping he had It's not like issues. I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. Oh, not that. Oh, okay, that's how you just jump into it quicker. About time. Told you not to make me wait. <laughs> You'd complain no matter how fast I got here. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm looking for something. Did Captain Seto leave a package with you? Captain Seto? No, he didn't. <laughs> he had said he wanted to give me something. He couldn't keep that promise. But if he left it for me somewhere, I'd like to have it. Oh, so it's like a keepsake then. That's right. He didn't give it to you. So do you have any idea where he would put something like that? Hmm. Maybe the hideout. I don't remember anything like that, though. Maybe you saw it, but you just forgot. I guess, maybe. I don't even know what it is. It must be some kind of small package or box. I think. Just go check the hideout again. <clears throat> you want me to look for it? I don't have time for that. I don't have time either. You can use your psychokinesis to search faster, can't you? You're the perfect man for the job. He's acting all high and mighty. He should be more humble if he's asking a favor. But if there really is a gift for Shiden, Captain Seto would be happy if I gave it to him. Fine, I'll look, 
But don't pout if I can't find it. What? I don't pout. I'm not a kid. Just get going. Oi, somebody needs You're to back. punch that motherfucker. Did you find something? <clears throat> yeah. I found a case with your name written on it in a corner of the hideout. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Let me see. This is a battle mask. Captain Seva left this for me. So it was a gift from him. Is that a card in there with it? Yeah, looks like it. Dear Sheedan, I'm sorry I couldn't put you in my platoon. This doesn't make up for it, but here's a gift. This mask contains special electrodes that will make it easier to control the direction of your electrokinesis. It's the same type as mine. Yours is specially made. I hope you like it. Sheedan, you are the hardest worker I've ever seen in the OSF. I know you'll continue to grow stronger, so trust in your own strength. I know you'll be even better than me. I don't plan on losing, though. We'll be good rivals. I can't believe he thought so highly of me. Damn it. There was so much I wanted to learn from him. You were good friends with Captain Seto. He was the only one in the OSF who saw something in me. He was a very special person. <coughs> I only fought with him for a short time. But I know that he was an amazing man. He was calm, dependable, and kind to everyone. I want to be like him someday. You want to be like Captain Seto? You say it like anyone can do it. If someone like you could be like him, I would have been just like him a long time ago. What's wrong with you? I understand you think highly of him, but I work hard too. You don't get it, rich boy. Just working hard won't get you very far in this world. I can't believe you think you can get to his level. You have no idea what you're talking about. Fine, I won't say it anymore. You got your gift, so I'm out of here. Hey, wait! <sighs> what? I haven't thanked you for finding this mask yet. Well done. Was that his idea of a thank you? I did it for Captain Seto. Tell me if you need me again. If I feel like it. He's pompous, rude, and really mean. But he's not all bad, I guess. <clears throat> no, if he's totally all bad. Captain Seto, will I see him differently? No, there's no way to see him any differently. Okay, he does. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? <coughs> okay, they both have bond. No, wait. I've already bonded with her twice. Huh? Are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Pocky collaboration should still be going on. <coughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet. You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is! Such a round and adorable face. 
<clears throat> Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi too. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask whose grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. <clears throat> a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting <coughs> all old. Why act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean more like trying out the latest trends. Latest yeah. trends? No, I'm... <clears throat> Actually, this magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested. But I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Skimma. No, oh, I should be the one thanking you. It is good. It, the problem is it requires a lot of focus. There's a lot of... There's so much you need to focus on, otherwise you die. <clears throat> and then you have the cutscenes where they're talking every 10 seconds. Not exactly easy to provide commentary when it's me. So I've only got one brain back. <clears throat> I think I can do hers, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Irito. S sorry. Why are you apologizing? That white flower. I told you I would look into it, but I still don't know the name. Don't worry about it. I'm not in a rush or anything. Thank you for continuing to search for it. I will definitely find it. I will show you that blooming flower. So wait. Okay, I'll wait. But don't push yourself. Just do it when you have time. Uh, wait. Hmm? What? Um... Huh. It looks like she wants to say something. I feel bad for putting pressure on her, so I'll wait a little. Um, how is your stomach feeling recently? Uh, my stomach? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess I haven't had much of an appetite lately. <clears throat> you should...
should take some medicine. Thanks, I will. How did you know my stomach wasn't feeling well? Night power. Oh, that's right. You're clairvoyant. So you have the ability to see inside my body. I do my best not to look into people's bodies, but it's hard to control. Sometimes I catch a glimpse. That's a useful power. That's gross. But it sounds a little gross. It must be hard, Sugumi. <clears throat> Sorry. I shouldn't have looked without permission. Oh, don't worry about it. You seeing my organs is less embarrassing than if you saw me naked. Also, you told me because you were concerned. So, thanks. But I still shouldn't have done it. Huh. How come you're always so hard on yourself? It happened a long time ago, when I was little. I wasn't as good at using my power then. I saw a lot that I shouldn't have. Inside bodies, inside rooms, people's secrets, things I didn't want to see. I didn't know it was bad, and I saw something my friend was hiding. I told everyone about it. And my friend and all the adults were afraid of me. I was alienated. Everyone hated me. I didn't want people to hate me anymore. So I became afraid to talk to anyone. So I... I'm always careful not to see or talk about people's secrets. But... That sounds pretty terrible. Yeah. I did a bad thing. That's not what I mean. You were just a kid. There was nothing you could do. Those adults should have known better. I'm sorry that happened to you when you were little. Um, uh, um, but it wasn't all bad. Really? From what I just heard, it sounds terrible. I didn't have any human friends, but my grandpa taught me about plants. My grandpa liked bonsai, and he knew a lot about plants. He taught me that plants are friends who don't talk. Friends who don't talk? Yes. Well, not with words, anyway. But with the shape of their branches, or the state of their leaves, they can tell us a lot. And when we're sad, they're always silently by our side. When I heard that, I started to like plants, too. I see. Your grandpa sounds really nice. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Sugumi. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Friends who don't talk, huh? Well, Sugumi doesn't talk much either, but she cares a whole lot. I guess liking plants is something we have in common. Um, Yurito? Yeah? What is it? Thanks. For everything. Huh? <laughs> sure, you too. It's gotten easier to talk to you. I'm happy to hear you say that.
I guess I should take a break. Yurito, wake up! What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru. Kasane's family in the OSF refused to provide a picture. Pro's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with brain fields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others. And ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. That's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. What happened? Why did you stop? What? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito, I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru. Is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. 
I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah, you'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay, I'll do that. I'll tell Command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, he'll be looked at right away. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Private Sumaragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait, that's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumaraki's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumaraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeragi. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey, at least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me. Is everything all right? Oh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? And you really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because, well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is, but people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Sinet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. 
Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? Huh. What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus? I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF Hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokusho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokusho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. <laughs> All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. So this is the old OSF hospital. I was very young when I stayed here, so I don't remember much about it. There was nothing left of Lokusho. Aren't others only after human brains? Would they destroy the buildings? Good point. If this building is still being used, maybe they cleaned it up on purpose. Huh. It sounds like you have some information we aren't aware of. Right, uh, sorry. I do in fact believe that it's still currently being used. That's why I think it's likely that Nagi was brought here. Why do you think such an old facility is still being used? Well, once you get to be in the OSF leadership, you start to learn all sorts of information. I heard that the old hospital was being used for some type of operation several times. Is he hiding something? Tsugumi, the bus with Nagi went beneath this facility, right? Yes, but be careful. There are a lot of areas I can't see through inside. This place is dangerous. I can't read this place's data either. I won't be able to give you much support. Be careful. Okay, everyone. Stay on your toes.
There's so much I want to ask you. A resource reading you here. Man, this hospital. I'm more afraid of ghosts showing up than others. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen one? No, I haven't. But if they do exist, they'd be here. I need you, Gemma. Oh, if I see a ghost. my power, Yuito. No 
You might be better at using teleportation than I am. <laughs> if so, it's thanks to you, Luca. What? Nagi is gone. What's up, Sugumi? I'm sorry. It looked like Nagi was here. Let's keep looking. This doesn't make sense. Why would there be others inside? The biggest reason others are here is for food. They want our brains. It doesn't look like there are many humans for them to feast on. Have you heard anything about this place from your uncle? No, not really. And I only really see him at New Year's, so... <sighs> there he is! Nagi! <sighs> Nagi! Nagi, wait! You're safe! Yuito... We were worried about you. Your name was on the missing persons list. Plus, I wanted to ask you about what happened. I'm... sorry. Nagi, what made you do that to us? 
How should I know? Huh? It feels like my brain just suddenly froze. And my head is all messed up. It won't stop spinning. How could that be? Leave! You can't stay here! What? What's gotten into? If you stay here, you'll be rehabilitated just like me! So that's what's going on. The rumors were true. Rehabilitation? Nagi? What's that? An alarm? More others! They must have been watching us. I'll take care of this. Get out of here! No, I'll fight too! I said no! There's no telling when I might snap and try to kill you guys again. Just like with Captain Seto. I can't let that happen. I'm begging you, get out of here! Then at least come with us. I can't. I just told you I could snap and turn on you any second. I'll find my own way out. You guys, go on ahead. They're gonna rehabilitate you if they catch you. Or worse, they'll skip that and turn you into an other. What are you talking about? <laughs> but that's... Yuito, I'm sorry. Luca, why? You were panicking. It was best to do what Nagi said and leave the hospital immediately. But don't you care that they might be turning people into others? We can talk later. We need to regroup. This is the only place I could secure as a safe teleporting zone. We have no choice but to go on foot from here. They must already realize that we know too much. It would be best for us to run. I know this isn't what you want, Yuito. Normally, we would be following your orders since you're the leader. But this place is far more dangerous than we imagined. Please allow me to do what I can to prioritize our escape. Okay. Everyone, let's keep an eye out for others while we move. I need your help. Yeah. 
training has been worth it. I know. Luca was right. But I just wonder if Nagi's okay. Yuito. Some help, Luca. It's too dangerous to go back. It may be cruel, but we should prioritize our escape. Go, Yuito!
still fight. Good. Damn it. Others are everywhere. We'll never make it to the exit. Can you make it out of the hospital by yourself, Luca? No. Teleporting is too dangerous in areas where there are this many others. Calm down. If Wataru doesn't have the data either, I have to rely on my own memories for the route to the exit. And my memories... Can I even trust my own memories? paying attention either. Sorry. And thanks. Sure thing. More importantly, others are coming this way. Let's take them on.
to take it down. Is everyone okay? Others are gathering. Damn it. Why are there so many others? Watcher, Sugumi, are there any safe spots nearby? As I've said before, there's absolutely no data on this old building. Sorry. There are others everywhere. What? There you are. Make
Major General Fubuki. Everyone, come with me. We'll lose those others by following the underground highway through the ruins of Lokusho City. Um, where are we? Is this a safe zone? Safe zone? What is that? A blind spot in New Himuka's surveillance system. We call it the safe zone. We'll be able to talk here freely. We could talk outside of the city, but we don't want to be seen by any patrolling OSF members. I never knew about this. If you want to talk here, that must mean it's something you don't want the government to know. I suppose it does. Had I known sooner that you were going to OSF Hospital, I might have been able to scheme better. You must have known what kind of place the OSF Hospital was. Yes. Seems like you didn't hear anything about it. They conduct power research at that hospital, funded by the New Himuka government. They draw out stronger powers by tuning the human cerebrum. I had no idea they were doing such things at my uncle's hospital. Oh, right. That hospital belongs to the Ichijo family. Listen, what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear. Huh? As a result of the cerebral research conducted there, a number of byproducts were created. Personality rehabilitation. Yes. They tune the brains of people who are problematic for the government, pacifying them by brainwashing. The government found out that Nagi witnessed Naomi being metamorphosed, so that's why he ended up that way. What? But Gemma Kasane and I saw the same thing. You were all protected under the pretense that I would be monitoring you. But Nagi was captured by the government before I could help him. I'm sorry. If only I'd been able to get a hold on the information sooner. Um, what do you mean Naomi was metamorphosed? I thought she was killed in action. Oh. I see. Naomi wasn't killed in action. She turned into another. Are you really saying that she turned into an other? Naki said something similar, but is that even possible? That's a byproduct of New Himuka's research as well. A special material is able to turn organisms into others. Any organism with a brain can be turned into an other. Wait. Then does that mean it was the government that turned Naomi into an other? Yes. I'd love to sit here and tell you everything. But staying in the city is dangerous. Most likely, the government has already given the order to hand you over to them. I want you all to go out on patrol. I'll do what I can to take care of everything while you're out. Hold on. How is it that you haven't been subjected to rehabilitation despite knowing all of this? It seems like Luca knew too. Right. That's why Luca wanted to prioritize escaping rather than talk to Nagi. It's simple. I'm one of the government's dogs. Luca should have heard some of this from Karin. If you're curious, ask him. Yes. We should go out on patrol. I'll tell you what my brother told me along the way. Yuito, can you please direct us where to go? All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba. Too exposed. We should go somewhere more private. Resting by those plants would be nice.
Make sure you take out those others. Still fight. Let's keep that. Let's keep this up. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Maybe Sukumi's clairvoyance. It's split. Take down the real one and the dummy will disappear. You need to figure it out.
monsters up ahead, so I don't think we have time to talk. This area should be safe enough to talk. Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fubuki's fiance, Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fubuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about new Himuka's personality rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But since we're legally unable to refuse... Hey, I found the file on Alice Ichijo in the database. She looks exactly like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceuticals Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. Then does my brother know about it, too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yurito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Oh, so she decided to do that. Take out RC, and she's being a bitch. I'm gonna have to change her battle at will. Oh my god, your teleportation is bullshit. Why is 
is she still in that form? At this rate. Oh, fuck my life. She's cheating. She's literally fucking cheating. I can still fight. Do you need help?
Kasane, tell me. Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because new Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito! Kodama is here! Huh? Who are you? Uh. Wait, Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Malone. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right. But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. I don't know what? who the fuck you are, lady. Oh, Master Yuito. Please. I have a message stop. from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? Of course! I am always on your side, Master Yuito! Officially, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Fubuki's aid, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito! Can you please you could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi! And this goes for the rest of you as well. But it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. Huh? This ampule. It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo to go over everything we learned? We <clears> won't <throat> have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry, recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. has happened it feels like my brain is fried let's go over our situation first research on powers is being conducted at the old Ichijo OSF hospital building it's likely they progressed in the research of the brain gained the ability to turn people into others and perform personality rehabilitation yes you can't blame yourself you didn't know about any of this yes you are so kind to everyone, so I think you should be kind to yourself, too. Thank you. Moving on, the government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires, but it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run from the government won't survive. Wait, there's Seiron. Yes. Worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how has your memory been? I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently. I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed... It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It kind of scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it. Unless your condition significantly worsens. You're right. I'll do that. Hey. Do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Oh yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I 
would advise against it. The chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. But any unnecessary contact would be dangerous right now. I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. Yes, you're right. Kaito, were you aware of Nuhimuka's power experiments? Most likely not. Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it. The only one that was left in the dark was me. Only me. I'm just gonna do these bond episodes and that's where and then save it and call it from there. Damn. Kasane. What is she even thinking? Ever since I met her, she's been hard to figure out. It's also weird that she looks like the person who saved me when I was young. Even talking to her face to face, it kind of feels like we're not on the same page. But she doesn't seem like she'd kill someone for no reason. I can't be sure, but I feel like she wouldn't. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, then I just have to figure out the truth on my own. I'm sorry, Yubito. You're the commander. I shouldn't have interfered. No, you're always so level-headed and helpful. Don't be afraid to tell me what you think. Understood. Oh, was that in order? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. I hate killing time by myself. So you said you wanted to talk about Sugumi. Did something happen with her? Oh, nothing like that. I'm just a bit concerned. I mean, that girl is kind of difficult for most people. What do you mean, difficult? She doesn't talk a lot, unlike me. And it takes her time to warm up to other people. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty quiet. I've known Sugumi for quite a long time, and we get along just fine. I just worry whether she's getting along with everyone else. And now she's away from me in a new team. So I'm losing sleep worrying that she might be getting left out. We wouldn't do that. I'm sure she's getting along fine with everyone. Oh. Well, if Mr. Straight as an Arrow Yuito says it, I guess I can trust you. I kind of get the sense that he's making fun of me. She's not like me. She's a good girl. So you take care of her. I'm counting on you, seriously. Don't worry. You can count on me. Oh, that was kind of unexpected. I never saw him as the type to worry about other people. Sure, he's a joker, but he's actually pretty kind. That being said, I should probably ask him about it. Yeah, I think that might be best. Hey, Kagero? I have something I want to ask you. Is that okay? It's about my father, actually. 
Hmm? Yeah, what do you want to know? Well, you see, the world thinks Kasane killed him, and I saw Kasane holding a knife, but I still can't get myself to come to terms with it. Do you know what actually happened? Sorry, but I can't say anything. Maybe I will someday, but not now. Please, he was my father. Well then, let's say Kasane did do it. I'm sure she would have had a good, valid reason for doing so. Fine, but I want to know that reason. And then what? What are you gonna do? It's not something you can forgive just because you know why. Well, yeah, but... Let's just forget all that for now. Why don't we talk about something nicer? Something nicer? He's just trying to change the subject. But I know he knows something. Anyway, let me be straight. Are there any girls in the OSF you like? Anyone that you've had your eye on? What? Where did that come from? Don't be shy. Tell old Kagero how you really feel. Your childhood friend Hanabi, or the cool Kasane. Are you all about a cute face? Or could it be the magnanimous Kyoka? Huh? No, I mean, I never... Um... I guess I never really thought about it. Okay, hold up. So you're serious? You're not just being shy? Life can be really boring without a little desire, kid. What about you? You did seem pretty interested in Sugumi. D -d don't be an idiot. I don't think of Sugumi like that. She and I are best friends. We understand each other. What we have is a connection of the souls. It's deeper than just a man and a woman. So you're almost like family. I understand that kind of thing better than talking about what my type is. <sighs> you really are lame and boring. If you don't loosen up, you might just end up suffocating yourself. Well, I've never really had any problems before. All right, I got it. Sir Kagero will teach you how to have some real fun. Oh, Lord. Uh, no, I'm fine. I am a very strict teacher. It's probably best you bring an energy drink next time we meet. See ya! But I said I didn't want to. Right when I was beginning to think he might take things seriously, turns out he really is just a joker. turning people into others and my father and brother are in on it too i don't know who they really are maybe i'm the only one who doesn't know anything don't think oh Are you sure? <clears throat> Gemma, want to go into town with me if you're free? Is something going on? We talked about checking out trends, remember? I looked up a lot of interesting places. Oh, that. Okay, I did promise you after all. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find something you like. I hope so. <sighs> Are you alright? Give me a little time to gather my thoughts. That was a lot to take in. I dragged him all over the place to show him the latest trends. But maybe I went a little overboard. Let's see. We've checked out all the new trendy spots. Was there one that caught your interest? 
Who was that last one? I got mobbed by a herd of giant cats inside a room. Ah, the VR Cat Cafe. That was pretty crazy. It's apparently very popular with girls for their soothing effects. That was supposed to be soothing? The youngsters these days find being buried in giant cats soothing? <laughs> it's more like a nightmare. <laughs> and before that one, we were trapped inside a tiny room and forced to do confusing puzzles. Right, the escape room. I thought that was pretty fun solving the riddles with vision. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, at least. Which means you didn't. Sorry, I should have researched better. No, I'm sorry to be complaining so much. It's not your fault. I just don't know how to enjoy them. I had no idea that amusement had changed so much. This is much different from the era I'm familiar with. To be honest, I can't keep up. I see. I'm sorry. Maybe we can grab something to eat to salvage the day. All right, but what to eat? I don't really eat here that often. They have a lot of different kinds of dishes here. What do you usually like to eat? Hmm. I'm not really very particular about my food. I guess I like gyoza if I had to choose. Gyoza? Oh, they have some interesting looking gyoza here. A new and popular dish the chef recommends. That's so. I don't really have a good feeling about it, but we came here to check out what's trending among the young people, after all. You don't need to force yourself. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Let's do what we came here to do. Thank you for waiting. Here's our restaurant special variety gyoza platter. Please use any combination of these ten sauces. Enjoy! Ten sauces? Wait, what is this? Green, yellow, red, black. Are these supposed to be gyoza? <laughs> Seems like these are the restaurant's original gyoza. Apparently, they all have different fillings. The shapes are just as strange as their colors. I see a round one, a square one, and this one has spikes. Is this what gyozas have come to in this day and age? I can't believe how much the food I once knew has changed. Hmm? Oh, they look weird, but they actually taste really good. Why don't you try one? Eat this? I'm not thrilled about it. But I can't stand here and waste food. All right. Hmm. You're right. This doesn't taste bad. It's not what I'm familiar with, but it's interesting. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, they look weird. But you can't know until you eat them. Maybe I was too wary because they seem strange. They're pretty delicious. If you can appreciate these, that means you learned how to enjoy one of the latest food trends. Hmm. Just because these gyozas happen to taste good doesn't mean I've learned to adapt to this age. I think your ability to appreciate them is important. That you were able to get past the way they look. You may have a point. At the end of the day, people still enjoy the same types of things. Even if those things may have changed. Yeah, exactly. I may have failed choosing good spots for you today, but I had fun checking them out together. I wasn't able to enjoy the newest trends, but I did have fun walking around the city. I felt behind the times every time I experienced something new. Time may pass, but our true nature remains constant. Just that our perspectives may have changed. Mmm. That hit the spot. Thank you for the meal. You're finished eating already? You must have really liked those. This might be my new favorite food. I guess trying new things isn't so bad. Well, let's do this again sometime. That's fine with me. But please, no more of that cat cafe. I don't dislike cats, but it's unsettling when they're that large. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we won't go there again. It seems part of it was a little too much for him. But I'm glad he ended up enjoying himself overall. Giant Cat Cafe. I'm stating the obvious, but you're young. Well, I'm younger than you. I know I was young once, too. I just can't really remember it. You should cherish this time while you have it.
I've learned about you, too. Okay, so that's weird. His powers actually are, like, consuming his body. That's interesting. That's why he's got his left arm covered up. Luca, can I ask you something? Yes, I will answer if I can. Oh, is it about my brother? Uh, you mean former Major General Karn? No, not that. I wanted to ask you about yourself. We're fighting together now, so I wanted to know more about you. Ah, uh, about me? Did I say something wrong? No, I was merely surprised. People mostly ask about my brother, so I don't usually talk about myself. Your brother is Karin, after all. Yes, for better or worse, most people notice him. I am frequently in his shadow. So I tend to assume people want to talk about him. I apologize. Don't worry about it. I kind of understand how you feel. My older brother isn't like former Major General Karin. But he's known for always being an elite. And I'm me, so people are always comparing us. Chief Kaito. True. He must be very capable to become chief of the OSF at such a young age. It's hard having a brother that's good at everything. It makes it seem like you're bad at everything. I guess it's not like that for you. I mean, you're a Septentrion. The fact that you're just as good, if not better, than your brother is known among both the military and civilians. Regardless of what the military or civilians think of me, I'm no, no match for my brother. In a lot of the ways. The motherfucker can copy everybody's abilities. So, you wanted to know about me. Use multiples what at once. What exactly did you have in mind? <clears throat> Ain't nobody yeah, that good. right. Uh, what are He's your also hobbies? also the only one capable of doing that. <laughs> This is like an old-fashioned arranged marriage. Well, my hobby is exercising. Despite my looks, I enjoy honing my body. I created my own program a long time ago, and I exercise every day. Wow, exercise. He doesn't look like he works out. He's skinny and small. Did you just think he doesn't look like he works out? What? No, I didn't. Please be honest. I won't be angry. Uh, yeah, I did think that. I didn't know you could read minds as well as teleport. It was written all over your face. You're not very good at lying. Good to know. Well, I understand why you would think that. It is very difficult for me to build muscle. However, by continuing, I am seeing gradual results. It is true that persistence pays off. You're a hard worker. Yes, but I enjoy exercising too. The more work you put into your muscles, the more results you will see. You should try working out. From the looks of you, I think you'd see good results. If you follow the training program I created, you'll be ripped in six months. Ripped? Tell me if there's an area you would like to train. If you want washboard abs or shoulders like melons. <laughs> melons? I don't want to get that big. Uh, I'll let you know later. Come to me anytime. Why wouldn't you want to be as big as fucking Gemma? Like, just be tanky. I need... 